hi friends today we are discussing the topic vertical analysis vertical analysis is also referred to as static analysis structural analysis cross sectional analysis these are the other names given for vertical analysis and the first statement that we are discussing as a part of vertical analysis is common size statements it is also known as the common size statements are also known as 100 percentage statements also another name for this statement is component percentage statement the percentage of each component in the financial statement are shown that is why it is called component percentage statement and the figures taken as a percentage of total sales or total assets in case of this common size statements the figures are taken as a percentage of total sales each and every item in income statement is represented as a percentage of sales each and every item in the balance sheet is represented as a percentage of total assets okay the total asset value is taken as 100 and all the other items in balance sheet are taken as a percentage of this 100 in case of income statement the total sales will be taken as 100 and all the other items are shown as a percentage of 100 okay we will consider the total sales or total assets as a base that is 100 total sales is taken as 100 and total assets are taken as 100 so the total amount of a balance sheet will be equal to 100 then there are two common size statements that is it may be common size balance sheet and the second one is common size income statement both the balance sheet and income statement can be prepared in the common size format now we are going through common size balance sheet how we will prepare a common size balance sheet in case of common size balance sheet take the total of balance sheet as 100 you prepare you draw and prepare the balance sheet in the same format but the difference is that take the balance sheet total as 100 and all the figures in balance sheet are stated in terms of that 100 here have a look at a comparative sorry common size balance sheet here there are different items two years details are given so 2010 2011 details are given from these details we are preparing a common size balance sheet this the last two columns these two columns are the parts of common size balance sheets okay then here have a look at these items we have given two years data in numbers in amounts and here we in the common size balance sheet here these are the two columns that we prepare as a part of common size balance sheet okay then firstly we have to go through the total in case of balance sheet we have to consider the total total assets and total liabilities okay firstly we are considering the total balance sheet asset side okay here the 2000 ten data is 15800 but here we have given as 100 because the total balance sheet is taken as 100 thereafter all the other items are shown as a percentage of this 100 for example in this case the first item cash cash is the first item 1200 is the amount we will find this amount by making the equation the amount is 1200 1200 divided by the total 15800 15800 into 
okay now we will get uh, this amount 7.8 percentage 7.6 percentage then consider the second item the second item is account receivable okay account receivable is here taken as 30.4 how we will get 30.4 here the amount is 4800 so 4800 divided by the total 15800 15800 into 100 okay this is how we will prepare a comparative sorry common size statements okay now this is the common size balance sheet okay then this is another model of question prepare common size balance sheet we have given a balance sheet equity and liabilities assets okay then here also we consider the totals we have given two years data a common size statement can be prepared only with one year data but in these examples we have given two year data so we have to prepare statements for two years okay here in this case also the total 41 lakh 50 thousand in the first year and 32 lakh 50 thousand in the second year both these figures are taken as 100 okay here this amount it is taken as 100 for example if you are preparing statement then the amount column will be 100 for this item the total will be 100 then how we will show this item 15 lakhs 15 lakhs divided by this item total 41 lakh 50 thousand okay 41 lakh 50 thousand this is how we will show the items okay we, we can have a look at this common size statement this is the common size statement we have provided last two columns for the percentage then 41 lakh 50 and 32 lakh 50 are shown as hundreds in both asset side and liability side and all the figures other figures are stated as a percentage of 100 did you understand how these percentages are obtained have you got it uh, how these percentages are obtained simply it is by finding the relationship for example we have to find the percentage of this item how we will get this percentage this is related to this 10 lakhs okay the, now we will calculate it as 10 lakhs divided by the total 32 lakh 50 thousand okay into 100 then it will be given as 30.77 percentage okay friends thank you i think you have got the idea then simply you take one balance sheet and prepare a common size statement i am giving you a simple example okay then you take one paper and note down these questions okay i am giving you a simple balance sheet with only few figures okay on the liability side capital capital 10000 okay creditors 2000 bills payable 8000 total 20000 okay on the asset side cash cash 3000 bank 2000 bills receivable 5000 building 10000 total 20000 i am repeating on the liability side capital 10000 creditors 2000 bills payable 8000 total 20000 on asset side cash 3000 bank 2000 bills receivable 5000 and building 10000 total 20000 prepare common size balance sheet i think you have got the idea try yourself okay thank you